An article from the Action Network, Brett McMurphy, who has worked at Stadium, he's worked you know all around everywhere, he put out a tweet, he's got an article out, where he interviewed a ton of ADs throughout college football because the big topic of conversation this week has been you know, the viral video of Urban Meyer getting danced on by a girl at a bar in Dublin, Ohio, uh, at his own bar. This is what the tweet says. 85% of Power 5 ADs and 61% of Group of 5 ADs told Action Network they would not consider hiring Urban Meyer if they needed a coach in 2022. P5 AD said not in a million years, and a G5 AD said hell no, he's a moral train wreck and a big-time potential liability. This was slightly surprising to me. This is by asking 65 ADs. If they would consider that, 85% said no in the Power Five, and 61% in the Group of Five said no. I, this is, I feel like this is another one of those things that's easy to say no to when you're just asked about it point blank. But if you have the option to bring in Urban Meyer, as much of a piece of crap as you may think he is, how many of these ADs are really telling the truth? But they're all lying, a hundred percent. So, let me tell you something, okay? Zero, zero of the G5 ADs would have the opportunity to do this, okay? You just you just went to a child and, 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 and asked them if, if they would hire Darth Vader, all right? <laughs> the, the answer's going to be no because he's the bad guy, okay? Like, like yeah, I, I, you know what? I can definitively say on this show right here, right now, I would never, ever, ever consider going on a date with Tiffany Anderson. Okay, she was my dream girl when I was in high school and in middle school. But but I, I would never go on a date with her right now. Definitely, I can say that. You know why? Because she ain't calling. <laughs> That's a hundred percent true, Kelly like, Kapowski. You just, you just asked you just asked a fictional question of a bunch of morons that like to talk about themselves. So a that's a waste of time. B, 80%, 85% of the, the the Power Five said no. Oh, my gosh. Well, guess what? 85% of the Power Five, Urban wouldn't set foot on your campus. All right? So so go blow somebody. This is the <laughs> stupidest waste of time. This is Brett McMurphy is trying to get clicks. He is trying to write an article about something that does not matter. The, the only question that – here's what I need. I don't need anonymous. I don't need all this stuff. Go – Ask the athletic director at USC because that's the only big boy job open. Would you hire Urban Meyer? That's the only person I need you to ask right now because it's the only big job available. Uh, well, and you you might would also ask Scott Woodward. Well, no, because that job is not open yet. You wouldn't ask Agreed. Scott Woodward about an opening that's not available yet. He's not going to answer that truthfully or honestly, and no, nor this is, should he. This should is he? a this is a hypothetical question anyway. But it, either no, way, but you don't no, Did they ask? I, I bet I bet they did. I bet they called Alabama's athletic director, and I bet he said no. I would not hire Nick Saban to hire Urban Meyer. Congratulations, you did some journalists. You did some reporting. Good job by you. Great journalism. are getting these guys are getting so lazy. It's really bothering me. And some of these people I look up to, and some of these people I really like to read, and I think they get really good information. This is, I am bored, and I have nothing else to write about, and so I'm just going to keep writing about Urban because I know it pays the bills. And that's a terrible way to go throughout your life. I agree. You just whore yourself out. I agree. I, I think that this was uh, a complete waste of time because I don't believe that these were true answers from these athletic directors. Like, this no. is... Anybody that had the opportunity to hire Urban Meyer to be their head football coach. If he walked coach, on a Troy's campus tomorrow, Troy would take his head coach and shoot him in the head. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to say that, but you're probably right. <laughs> no, we're not. But we're going to get it's, – it's applicable because we're going to get into that in a second, right? Right, because it's, it's all it's – all, this, this whole thing is hypothetical anyway. So we're just That's talking right. about hypothetically shooting people, right? That's – that's all that is. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.